Hey guys, uh, in this video we are going to learn about switch statement and the die function. Okay, so uh, you have already uh, learned about if, else, else if statements, which are basically used to create branching in your programs, and you have similar sort of conditions, but you want to process only one, uh, depending on the input that you have. So uh, that is good, but suppose if you have multiple conditions, like more than 10, 15, 20 conditions, if, else, if becomes a bit inefficient okay so uh, there is a good replacement of that uh, in the form of switch statements so uh, let's go back and learn what is a switch statement and how to use it so we are back on to sublime text uh, we are creating a new file and we are going to save it as switch demo dot php we are starting with the php tags like this now uh, what we are going to do is we are quickly going to create a small calculator uh, with two uh, operands okay let's assume the first number the first operand is 10 and the second operand is 34 and the operator is suppose plus now this is how a switch statement works um sorry uh, what i've done is i've just written sw and sublime has automatically suggested me uh, the switch syntax so i'll just press enter and now we are getting the code okay so over here you have to put the variable that you have to check in our case it will be the operator variable okay and over here you put the value that you want to check uh, for the operator to be true uh, for the condition to be true suppose we want to check for the first case if the value of operator is plus or not so what we'll do is we'll put a plus inside over here and if it's true if this case is true what we will do is we'll print out we'll just echo out dollar num 1 plus dollar num 2 and this is a break statement a break statement basically breaks the switch statement and you go over here okay so uh, let's create a second case the second case would be a minus what if the value of the operator is minus then what we will do is we'll print out dollar num minus dollar uh, dollar num one minus dollar num two and similarly uh, one more thing is left we'll put a break so that the program flow the switch flow will break and similarly we'll copy this two more times this one will be for multiplication like this and finally one more time for division <coughs> like this okay now what is this default condition the default condition is when the condition is not true for any of the given cases then it will enter into the default stage in that case suppose we want to print out echo no operator found like this okay so now if we go back and reload our page which is switch demo it prints 44 the reason is because 10 plus 34 is 44 but what will happen if we'll change it to multiplication let's see save reload it's 340 because 34 multiplied by 10 is 340 if you divide uh, it's 0.29 okay and if we'll do something else like this save reload it says no operator home so this is a simple calculator obviously uh, when you create a real application you will have to take this input from the user which we'll do when we'll learn about uh, forms in php okay so now that we are uh, done with switch statement uh, let's learn about die function okay so suppose i have a, a echo statement where we i'm saying hello and then i have one more echo statement where i say world and i save it and if i go and if i print over here it says hello world simple right but <clears throat> imagine now there is some problem that occurred over here and that problem is um, kind of dangerous or you know hazardous for your server 
and you don't want to continue running the script you want to kill it in the middle so what you will do is you will do this die okay once you do this see what will happen it just says hello and after that the script is being killed you can also display a message over here by saying error occurred save reload and now it says error occurred and it kills the page okay now you must be wondering uh, where do we use a die statement or what's the use case the answer is uh, suppose you want to connect to a database for your application because you want the data from the database now whenever you connect to a database using php you have to provide the credentials the username and password now suppose uh, by mistake the username or password is incorrect now that will lead to some important information to be displayed on the screen in the form of error messages that you don't want to be seen by the user so what you will do is uh, while connecting to the database you will just put up a condition that if database is connected uh, we are connecting to the database properly then uh, do whatever you want to do but if it's not then you will just kill the script by using a die function like this okay so we'll do this when we'll connect uh, our php script to the uh, mysql database but for now you can just learn this that whenever you want to kill your script in between you just use the die function okay